Welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to look into scale diagrams. So let's get started by looking at what is a scale diagram. A rectilinear plane figure drawn such that every measurement of length is increased or decreased by the same ratio and then the drawn figure is called a scale diagram like this and most of them get confused with scale diagrams and sketches. A sketch is a figure drawn to show only the shape of the original figure like this. Now let's see how to draw a scale diagram. There are a few steps when drawing a scale diagram. First is to draw a sketch that is the shape of the plane figure you are going to draw and then we have to decide the scale by looking at the measurements and then the next part is to draw the scale diagram and finally we have to write down the scale that we used to draw the scale diagram. So let us do a practical example so that you will understand how to do, do this drawing. Now here the first example the length and the breadth of a rectangular flower bed is 12 meters and 7 meters respectively. Now we are going to draw a scale diagram for this. Now this is my sketch. I have drawn a rectangle. The length is 12 meters, breadth is 7 meters. So I have marked it like this. Now let us decide a scale. Now you know we can't draw 12 meters in our papers or in the book. Uh, just like that we can't draw even 7 meters. So instead of 12 meters and 7 meters we have to decide a scale. So what if I represent 2 meters by 1 centimeter, right? So this is the scale I decide. I'm going to represent 2 meters by 1 centimeter. That is, if I draw 1 centimeter in my diagram, that 1 centimeter represents 2 meters of the actual length. And then I have to decide if I'm going to represent 2 meters by 1 centimeter, to represent 12 meters, I have to draw 6 centimeters and to represent 7 meters, I have to draw 3.5 centimeters of length. And now by deciding this part, I am moving on to the drawing section. Now let us take a ruler and draw a line of length 12 meters. Instead of 12 meters, we represent 6 centimeters. So I am drawing a 6 centimeter line like this and then we are going to draw the breadth that is 3.5 centimeters like this right now again 3.5 centimeters in the other side to represent the next breadth and then finally we are joining this now this is our scale diagram now though we completed drawing we have the fourth step that is we have to write down the scale of this diagram now you know one centimeter is represented by two meters Generally, we write the scale as a ratio. So, you know when writing ratios, the units must be same. So, 1 centimeter represents 2 meters. That is, 1 centimeter is representing 200 centimeters. Now, the units are same. Both the sides, both the corners, we have the measurements in centimeters. Now, we can write the scale as 1 is to 200. This tells 1 centimeter represents 200 centimeters right fine now this is how we draw a scale diagram and then we are going to see how to calculate the length corresponding to the actual length when the scale of a diagram is given right now a diagram is given the measurements are given and the scale is given now instead of 10 meters when the scale is given how to decide the length we are going to draw in the scale. Now 10 meters is not the length in the scale, right? So the scale is given. We are going to decide the length corresponding to this actual length. Now in that, first of all, we have to see the length corresponding to 200 centimeters is 1 centimeter. Uh, from where did I get it? From here. Now here it is given the scale. 1 is to 200, that is 1 centimeter represents 200 centimeters. So I write 1 centimeter uh, or the length corresponding 200 centimeter is equal to 1 centimeter. Then the length corresponding to 600 centimeters. From where did I get this 600? From here. 
Now you know 6 meters is equal to 600 centimeters. So the length corresponding to 600 centimeters will be 600 divided by 200 that is 3 centimeters. That means now what is this 3 centimeters? In order to represent 6 meters in the scale diagram we have to draw a line of 3 centimeters. Moving on to the next part length corresponding to 800 centimeters. Now 800 centimeters is this 8 meters then that we divide by 200 that is 4 centimeters. Then the next part is the length corresponding to this 10 meters that is 1000 centimeters divided by 200 is 5 centimeters. Right. So here these are the lengths corresponding to actual lengths when the scale is given. Now we are going to see the next part of this section that is determining the actual lengths when the scale diagram is given. Now here the scale diagram is given with the lengths. These lengths are the length in the scale diagram, the scale length, not, not the actual length. So here 3 centimeters, 3.5 centimeters, 5 centimeters and so on are the lengths in the scale diagram. And we are going to find uh, the actual lengths of this diagram. So here the scale is given as 1 is to 500 that is 1 centimeter represents 500 centimeters. We know 500 centimeters is equal to 5 meters. So simply 1 centimeter represents 5 meters. Now next place if 1 centimeter represents 5 meters what will the what is the value representing or are the actual length of 3 centimeters. So to find that we have to multiply 3 by 5 and then the answer is 15 meters and then the next part is 3.5 centimeters. So actual length of this part you have to multiply by 5. So once multiplied you get the answer as 17.5 meters and 6 centimeter multiplied by 5 is 30 meters and then the next part is 5 into 5 that is 25 meters and 4.5 represents 22.5 meters. So this is how we determine the actual length when the scale diagram and the scale is given. Fine. Now the next section we are going to move on. That is how to draw scale diagrams. Once again, we already learnt it a little. Now here, here in this case, the scale is given. Right now this is the diagram. Scale is given actual lengths are given, we have to decide the values corresponding to these actual lengths according to the scale. Now when the scale is given, you know how to decide the lengths corresponding to the actual length when the scale is given. So here according to this, 1000 centimeters, the scale is 1 is to 1000 that tells 1000 centimeters are represented by 1 centimeter. So that is simply 10 meters are represented by 1 centimeter. So to find out the length corresponding to 80 meters, we have to divide 80 by 10 because 10 meters are represented by 1 centimeter, we divide it by 10, then we get 8 centimeters and likewise we divide all the lengths by 10 and find out the corresponding lengths like this. Fine. Now we have taken instead of 120 meters, we have to draw 12 centimeters, instead of 60 it is 6, instead of 40 it is 4 and instead of 80 meters, we have to draw a line of 8 centimeters. Now let's draw this. Take a ruler. First of all, the length, first length instead of 120 was 12. So I draw a line of 12 centimeters like this. And then instead of 60, it was 6. The next was 4 centimeters. Draw a line like this. And now I join these two lines. And if you measure it, it will be 8 centimeters. So this is the scale diagram of the figure given previously. So here you have to mention the scale and then that's all. So hope I made myself clear regarding how to draw scale diagrams, how to decide lengths and how to decide the actual length of a scale diagram and so on. See you with another smart math tip. Until then, goodbye.